so we're going to talk about surface area of a cylinder. So first of all, a cylinder is a three-dimensional shape with the bases parallel and congruent. So this circle right here is parallel and <clears throat> congruent to this circle right here, which means that this height right here has to be perpendicular to both of these circles. So to find the surface area of a cylinder, we take circumference times height plus 2 times the base area of these circles. So we're going to write this a little different way by filling in some things. First, circumference is equal to 2 pi r. So 2 pi r times h would be 2 pi r h plus 2 times the area of one circle. Well, the area of one circle is pi r squared. So for our final formula for surface area is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. So now we're going to find the surface area of this cylinder. So the surface area is equal to 2 pi r. Our radius for this is 5 right here. So 2 pi 5 times the height is 12 plus 2 pi r squared. So for the surface area we get 2 times 5 which is 10 times 12 is 120 pi plus 5 squared is 25, 2 times 25 is 50, 50 pi. So when we add those together, we get 170 pi for our surface area. So when we take a surface area of a cylinder, it's like we take, like pretend we have a soup can. And there's a top lid and a bottom lid, and we find the area of that. If we unwrap that label on a soup can, if you unwrap it and hold it open, it's a rectangle. So right here, this part of our formula is finding the area of that rectangle, which would be if we if I were to unwrap this cylinder, I'd get this rectangle, and this top of the rectangle would be the circumference which is 2 pi r times the height, which is 12. So that's where this part of the formula comes from. And then to find the top, of the top and bottom of the soup cans, we do 2 pi r squared. So find the surface area. So we, ha if you remember, it's 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. So now let's plug things in. 2 pi, the radius is 4, times the height, which is 10, plus 2 pi radius squared. So the surface area is equal. 2 times 4 is 8, times 10 is 80. 80 pi plus 4 squared is 16 times 2 is 32, so 32 pi. So our surface area is equal to 112 pi. So we're going to do one more example. 
find the surface area of the cylinder. So surface area is equal to 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. Now you don't have to write the formula every time you do a problem, but when you're learning the formula, it helps to write it down because then you'll remember it and then you won't have to write it down anymore. You'll just know it. So, 2 pi r right here, which is 3, times the height. Now remember, when we when we say height, we want the 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 edge that is pair that is perpendicular to both of these bases. So that's that height right here. If we were to take this height, it would be perpendicular to the rectangle that goes around the cylinder but we need this height which is perpendicular to both bases. So our height for this is 12 plus 2 pi r which is 3 squared. Surface area is equal to 2 times 3 which is 6 times 12 which is 72 so 72 pi plus 3 squared is 9 2 times 9 is 18 18 pi so surface area is equal to 90 pi feet squared. Because remember, when we find surface area, we're finding a two-dimensional area. So if I was, if I had my soup can, or if I had a, a cylinder container and I was wrapping it up for a present, I want to find how much wrapping paper goes around it and that would be a one a two dimensional measure so that's all for surface area but next video we're going to talk about volume of a cylinder because it's a little bit different than volume of a prism